test and wrote the full application um, to basically scrape all tweets about women who code or the women who go hashtag and uh, play them on the screen through Growl, which is pretty cool. So uh, this time, uh, please welcome Heather. She's going to show us a bit more live coding in our future. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Sweet. Okay, please welcome Heather. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Heather. Uh, so I'm going to show you the Firefox developer tools. And these are the tools that help web developers create and debug their website. Um, these are built into Firefox. Uh, so what I did for this talk is I made a little women who code website. Um, so you see I have some HTML and got some JavaScript to get data from Twitter and from meetup.com and some CSS. Uh, so right now the website is broken and we're going to fix it. So as you can see, what it's supposed to be showing is actually uh, the most recent meetups on the left here and the most recent tweets about when we have code on the right. Um, so it's not showing that, so what we're going to do first is check for errors. Um, so we're going to go to the web developer menu in Firefox and open the web console. So web console will show you all of your JavaScript errors, any network request you make and any logging you have. So it's a really useful tool um, when debugging. So as you can see, there is a JavaScript error, which is probably why I'm not showing anything. So we're going to go over and you can see it says event.title is on the button. So we're going to go to www.code.js on line 11 and check it out. So say so right here, event.title is on the button. So we're going to do is log the event object to the console but we can see what property we really want to show. So we can log event. I'll put it log event. Save that. We're going to reload. And, oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Getting help. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So now we're going to log it before the error happens, of course. Okay, there we go. So we just logged the event object. So now we can check out and see like which property we really want to see. So what we really want is not title, but we want this name property right here. Um, so we're going to say event.name. Uh, All right, save that, and we're going to reload. And so yeah, yeah, we have the meetups on the side now. We can see much recent meetups, which is awesome. But now we're, we're not seeing a tweet yet, though, so that's too bad. And actually, we can see now that there's one of our network requests um, to the Twitter API failed. Um, we got a 404. So if we click on it, we can see that request headers and Stuff. Um, and we're going to fix, and actually I can see that I have spelled something uh, on purpose <laughs> in the, uh, the URL. So I'm going to fix that. Uh, an S there. And yeah, we got both of them. Yay! So this is what I'm just using right now is Web Console. So the Web Console will actually go a really long way. Now that you can see by the web page. Uh, it has a lot of good stuff in it. And also, you can type in JavaScript right in the web console here. Do you like 4 plus 5, get 9. So it's really useful for testing out JavaScript snippets. Alright, so that's it. So, how many people show up there? No, no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we fixed it up. But uh, now we're going to make it look a bit prettier. So, what we're going to do, what I want to do is make up a little bit more space between our full new code title and the rest of the things here. So, I'm going to inspect that title element there, see what it is. So, I can see from this that it's a div with an ID of title. And I'm going to check out the style for it with this little style button down here. So, I can see all the rules that apply to this element. And uh, the one that we want to edit is this uh, rule for the title, the element with ID title. Um, so, what I'm going to do is open up this link here in the style editor. So what this will do is let you, style editor will let you edit CSS and it will live update the page as you're writing it. 
so I'm actually going to escape out of this so you can see things better. Um, okay, so I'm going to increase the padding on this a bit to make it go down a bit more. So you see, get that. And also I'm going to increase the font size a bit. Make it more of a type of, oh! <laughs> okay, so there we go. So we just like, we just tweaked our styles a bit. Um, okay, uh, so now I'm just going to save it to back to my CSS file. Um, I'm editing it in the file editor. Yeah. So I'm going to save it back to the CSS file. Yep, to replace it. And I can reload the page. And the styles have been cut. And so those are just two of the many tools, um, the web console, the inspector, and the style editor. But those will all go a long way. And uh, there's some other tools. Uh, I'll just show you some of them. So there's also the script debugger, which we're working on right now, a scratch pad for doing longer form JS, um, and a bunch of other stuff. And my website will well, one is super cool enough so you can see. So you can also see your web page in 3D, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, you know, it's pretty cool thing, whatever it's cool thing. Um, so yeah, these are the five filler tools. Um, uh, what I'd recommend, if you want to try them out, is try Firefox Aurora, which is the beta version of Firefox. You can get that at Mozilla or Flash Aurora. And, yeah. So, yeah, this is my stuff. I, yeah, then my Twitter handle is my favorite. And I also, I work on the developer tools, so let me know if you have any suggestions or any questions about it. And that's my GitHub also, that has the code for this little website if you care to see it. Thanks.